In this short tutorial, I want to show you a great new feature and resource that Nearpod has created. And it's useful for teachers, but also it's useful in the business world. It's useful in families and in all sorts of organizations. Anytime you want to generate ideas from a group of people and do some brainstorming and sharing of ideas, what I'm going to show you is a wonderful, useful tool. And like I said, it comes from Nearpod. If you're not familiar with Nearpod, you should definitely watch my video tutorial on Nearpod. So look up my channel and find the tutorial. It's a wonderful tool, especially for teachers and trainers. But the thing about the regular Nearpod is you do have to sign up in order to really use it as a teacher or as a trainer or instructor. They do have a free account that's quite good, or you can pay. But let's look at the free resource that they recently created. One of the nice things about it is you do not need to have a login or a password. You don't have to have an account. And the web address for this resource or tool is collaborate.nearpod.com. When you get there, this is what you see. And again, this is with no login, no password. It just says enter topic. And I'll just call this new product brainstorm. So let's say I'm part of a small business and I have a small team that I work with and we're going to be brainstorming new products that we could create and that we could make available to the public. So this is a new product brainstorm. All I have to do is click let's go and it gives me this interactive chalkboard basically. And here I can invite collaborators, people to join in and participate in the conversation. So I'll just click invite collaborators. I could email people so that they can brainstorm with me and they would get an invitation. I can also post it to social media, but in most cases, I think what you'll do is you'll click link and it gives you a long hyperlink that you can copy and you could paste that into an email, post it on a web page, whatever you want to do. And anyone that goes to that link will be taken to your collaborate chalkboard, basically, and then they'll be able to put their name in. I'll just put in John, join board, new product, brainstorm, and now as John, I can go in and type one of my amazing ideas. How about an automatic pizza maker? So I click post and it just puts it right there on the board. Anyone else that's accessing this board will be able to see that. You can also upload images or search Google. So I'll put in a pizza image. I can just click to save it and post. Now that particular image, it looks like has some restrictions. So I couldn't use that particular one. But if I choose a different one, let's try this, post, and that one worked. Now I could have put my thoughts and the image simultaneously into the document, but it's okay also to do it separately. Now as the audience posts ideas and images, they can heart each other's responses, and I as the teacher or the trainer or the person who built this activity, Notice that I do have some extra control. Let's say someone posts something inappropriate or regrets posting it. I can go in and I can click this delete button and remove it. So this really is a great way to just throw a bunch of ideas on the screen, share and brainstorm together. Now you may notice here in the upper right, it says the board will be active for 57 minutes. It starts at 60 minutes and just starts counting down. If you want it to be longer than that, you can sign up for a free account or log in to a pre-existing Nearpod account. But if you don't need it to be more than 60 minutes, this is perfectly fine. And it's a great, useful brainstorming or idea sharing tool. Before I end this tutorial, I do want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you to Sharman Natoli, to Mahela Nagina, and Kurt Topple. I also really appreciate my other Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support my YouTube channel, consider becoming one of my Patreon supporters, and you'll see a link to that in the description below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, please click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do that, you'll be notified whenever I post another video and watch for another video from me at least every Monday.